afternoon. Happy Sunday, March 17, 2019. This is your boy, Big Rich, and this is another Ruckus Radio Report. And I just want to, I want to, I want to make this episode uh, or this quick, quick video about why did Anthony Camello gun down Frankie Cali? Why? Now, there's a lot of different reports out there, and I'm having I'm having a little trouble trying to puzzle this together. Now, they're saying right now, the statement is from the police department, that it seems to be a personal vendetta over a love affair. And what it, it what, what what they're saying is that Frankie Cali said to somebody, or whoever it was, that Anthony Camello was unworthy of dating now who who we find out is his niece. And uh, Frankie Cali doesn't have any daughters. But his niece, this man was not good enough to to be dating his niece uh, and deemed him unworthy to be around his family. You know, why would the Don just come out of his house, you know, unprepared uh, to go shake hands with someone that uh, he doesn't like? Now, we know that Anthony Camello crashed into his SUV, walked up to the porch, rang the doorbell. There's a camera right on the porch, so he's not hiding his face talks to the Don. They come back out into the street. The Don turns around to pick up his license plate. Anthony Camello, like a coward, puts shoots 10 times at Frankie Cali and hits him six times and drives away. Now, he wasn't concerned about the camera, nor was he concerned about stashing the vehicle that he used to smash into the SUV. Neither one. So he's just like, I don't care. I want it to be known. It's almost like a scene out of The Sopranos, right? When uh, Michael uh, Bel- uh, Bel- 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 Belavacqua, Michael, uh, Matt Belavacqua, Michael Belavacqua, who was the character that he was trying to uh, 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 impress Richie April? So uh, he decided to uh, do a hit on, on, on Christopher. Remember that scene in, in Sopranos? I'm not sure, maybe second season, third season, I don't know. It's been a long time. But these, these these are confusing things. Now, if this kid did it, and again, the 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 detective is like, we're far from uh, 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 closing this case. We want to know if he was working for somebody because that could have just been an excuse. Yeah, I did it because I was in love with his niece, and he said I couldn't have her. It could be the true story, but the police still have to find out if anybody's involved. Did anybody motivate this? That push this? Commission this? A lot of questions still need to be answered. Me, if you you know, again, the Don the godfather of the Gambino family, just, you know, going outside of his house, like everything's cool, especially talking to somebody who the police are saying that the Don already uh, uh, made it known that he was not liked, the kid was trouble, and he was unworthy of dating his niece. So, uh, again, I got a lot of questions. Uh, I'm sure there's be more reports uh, in the news. This is your boy, Big Rich. This is another Ruckus Report. Again, why did... Anthony Camello shoot Frankie Cali. Was it over love? Is there another player involved? Was he commissioned by somebody? Is this kid out to lunch? Is he trying to make a name for himself? You know, we live in a world where, you know, views and this and that and the third. The kid wasn't hiding his face. He wasn't concerned with hiding the car. Fled to Jersey. He's sitting in a jail in New Jersey right now waiting waiting to be extradited back to Staten Island. So as more and more news comes out, I will be putting up more and more reports. Thank you for listening. Thank, uh, like, comment, share, and thank you for subscribing. And for everybody that's leaving comments, thank you, man. Negative or positive, I'm replying right back to you. This is Big Rich. Guys, enjoy your day.